<laughs> well, we want to take a moment to feature something unique and you might even call it a bit historic. Coming up, October 18th is the Finley Bottle Show and the advertisements say it's going to be bigger and better than ever. Marianne Dow is one of the organizers of the show and lent us some unique and interesting bottles. Guys, let's take a moment and take a look walk in history past as yeah. we see these bottles that were once used for everyday use. Well, I think some of the things that's interesting is you, the, you have a variety of bottles here, not only in terms of, of shape and of function, but also in terms of geography. I mean, we've got bottles yeah. from, hmm. from Texas, from California, but also some from Delphus in, in Lima as well. Yeah, one of those milk bottles is actually from, from Delphus. The Lincoln yeah. Highway Milk Company? or Dairy Company. Dairy yeah. Company, how about oh, wow. that? Yeah. We've got a guitar here. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I'm sure. Is that a guitar or a, or a violin bass. or a bass or a cello? Cello. I wonder what we know. It's in a string family. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we want to know what was. In Jennifer's there. is interesting. You're holding one there, and we could not stand it up because it's got a round bottom. That's right. This is a ginger ale bottle. Huh. It'd be neat if there were some dates on here, but it is. It's a round bottom. It's blue, and it's very heavy. I mean, it's hmm. it's uh, it's a thick piece of glass. Like, is this is that a piece of glass? Yeah, that's glass. It's not a plastic. One piece the glass, of glass bottle. Come, uh, festival. My glass <laughs> lack of knowledge is coming out now. How about this one? Magic invisible cement. Need some of that? Stuff? Maybe it's well, still in there. That's it's actually what invisible. I use to hold my spice rack together that I recently <laughs> built. <laughs> is it working? <laughs> well, it hasn't fallen apart yet. So it's magic. Yeah. There will be free appraisals <laughs> at the show. Public is invited to bring in their old bottles as well to, to get some sort of idea of maybe hmm. how much your collection could be worth. Our chief engineer, Jeff Klingler, is a glass jar collector. He says this show is filled with not just glass bottles, but antiques and other very unique items. It's a place to <laughs> buy and sell, or to just come and look. But don't break anything. That's right. That's right. Oh, very we are being very careful with these items. Every time we pull one out, I actually did kind of drop one of those you broke shakers. One? It didn't break. Ooh, no, it was just there was the a salt shaker, and all over the place. <laughs> it's all okay. It's all. Okay. I'm going to tell Marianne. All right, the details are the Finley Bottle Show is taking place October 18th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Admission is only $2 and kids 12 and under are free. However, if you want to get in early, you can pay $10 for the early admission price and get in at 7 a.m. Bottles, fruit jars, milk, medicines, inks, uh, sodas, advertising, and much more. It's at the Sterling Center on Route 12 in Finley, 4570 Fostoria Avenue is the address. And this is the 39th year and it looks like it's going to be quite a fun event taking place there on October 18th. So be sure to check it out.